Alright, I uh, got another video for you guys today and since um, I got the scan with the Atlantis scan body, I figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys how uh, you can go about uploading your um, Atlantis scan since I don't really know if there's one out there. So uh, I just thought I'd go ahead and show you that guys. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up their uh, scan app, which is over here. So they can go and download it for you and put it on your computer if you don't know how. Uh, then we go over here on new abutment and we put in a patient's name which is this um, this I well we choose the scan body here and it was an intraoral scan body the uh, Atlantis IO for intraoral click on that one and we've got tooth number 29 so we'll go ahead and click on that uh, double click on that and then these options will come up we'll go ahead and um, go and find those scans which are here. Uh, we are going to upload the upper first and it will upload in, it'll show up here. And you can spin it around and check it out. Uh, and since it was an intraoral scan, you don't have to load the lower scan and a scan body because it's all just one scan. So uh, you're just gonna do add flow scan. If you were scanning in your own scanner, um, you would change this to Atlantis Lab, and then you would add the lower arch and then the scan. But since this is just an intraoral, we'll go ahead and add this flow scan, which is the lower, and it is going to load that in. If you want to um, add in a wax up or for with the third scan, you can um, use this option right here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is hit send. And oh, I forgot to. You gotta assign the tooth number here. I just hit the green check mark. Uh, and then hit send. Now it's gonna upload everything into Atlantis. And we're gonna wait here for a second. And it's gonna take us to uh, Atlantis' website where we can finish logging in the rest of the information. And we will go from there. It will pop up any second now. Okay, so it's finally uploaded. Don't know what happened, the internet went down for a second, but we're good to go now. So we'll go ahead and we'll log in here. And everything will pop up. And we will go ahead and hit next. Make sure the patient's in there. Uh, I hold it, I like to approve every design. I don't like process. I don't like them processing without uh, me checking everything. Uh, we'll hit next. Um, new feature that they have is they will um, print models for you and add analogs if um, you like working on uh, models and hands. Uh, let's see, we've got a Master EV 4.2 uh, core file. That means that they will send you um, a file with the abutment made so you can go ahead and design the crown uh, before the abutment even arrives, which is a nice feature, especially when you're working with a um, with intraoral scans. Uh, cement retained titanium, one, one, zero, zero, zero. Uh, you can uh, more support, and these are the options. Hit next. Uh, here is the where they can print the model for you. I just prefer them to do the active arch, so you can go ahead and do that, or you can do both if you want. Put the analog in there for you. Go ahead and hit next and submit the order. And that's that. So now we'll go ahead and we'll wait for them to um, design the abutment. And then as soon as they do, the core file will be available. And then uh, when that happens, uh, we can go ahead and design the crown. Okay. Now uh, that the file has been uploaded and we are can now go ahead and approve the design, we can click on the order reference and some pictures will show up. Uh, we can go ahead and look here uh, to see if we like it. I prefer to launch the 3D editor and look at it that way. And we can go ahead and move it around. We can actually um, edit the abutment here too. Um, by moving the little control.
control points around if you don't like how they designed it. Uh, or you can also just put in the comment section and they'll uh, check things too. So you can go ahead and use your mouse and move things around, looks pretty solid. Millimeter below the tissue, uh, you can you know, move this, show the editor right here. And these are the control points that you can move around if you want. Um, and then you go ahead, if you don't like, say I go like here, you can change this to um, revert design. Uh, original design, which is this one. Everything's going so slow today. I don't know what's going on. Must be in the afternoon. Okay, so we like this design. We can go ahead and, oops, I accidentally messed it up again. Original design. Go ahead and load this back up. We can go ahead and approve the design. Yes, we will go ahead and approve it. Close the editor. Close the editor. Uh, I go ahead and just do this anyways. Post. Let them know to go ahead and mill it out. And um, then you'll get this Atlantis digital file as soon as that uh, is available, and that'll be the core file. And I need to wait for that to show up and we will continue on. Okay, the uh, Atlantis digital file is ready, so we can go ahead and download that now, and then we can get the crown um, milled and uh, waiting for the abutment to show up. Uh, you can come down here and you can get the EXO file, or you can go ahead and download the zip file. You can go ahead and just download that, and while that's downloading, I'll start up the uh, uh, job definition number 30 Zoom. crown put that in there alright and that gives us our folder um, downloads so we just downloaded and we will drag this over to the new folder, paste that there, there we go, now we can hit design, and then we will load in the lower, with the apartment, right here, number 29, and then the upper, and you can go ahead and design your crown um, while you're waiting on the abutment to show up in the meal. Uh, this is a really cool, quick, easy process. Uh, I'll go ahead and send you a model of this if you like um, or not. You don't have to. It's your choice. Um, and uh, that's basically how it goes. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please give me a like. Thumbs up, comment down below if any questions, comments, concerns. Um, I'll see you next time.